Shakira Beyond the Music I learned to move my hips before I could walk. These are the words of Shakira, the woman who danced her way from a small town in Colombia to the global stage. But behind the mesmerizing moves and catchy hits lies a story of passion, resilience, and unshakable determination. Shakira, Beyond the Music, an intimate and inspiring audiobook that takes you deep into the life of one of the most iconic artists of our time. Whether you've danced to her chart-topping hits or admired her humanitarian work, this audiobook will give you a closer look at the woman behind the legend. Join us as we explore her incredible journey, from a young girl with big dreams in Barranquilla to becoming a global superstar and humanitarian powerhouse. Focus Points In this audiobook, we'll uncover Shakira's fascinating childhood, shaped by her multicultural roots, and follow her rise to fame from her first record deal at the age of 13. We'll take you behind the scenes of her greatest musical achievements, including her crossover into the English language market, and reveal how she navigated personal challenges, like her high-profile relationship with football star Gerard Peake. You'll also learn about her philanthropic efforts, including her work to educate children through the Pies Descalzos Foundation. Learning Outcomes By the end of this audiobook, you'll gain valuable insights into Shakira's creative process, the cultural impact she's made, and the resilience that has driven her through both triumphs and struggles. You'll come away with a deeper understanding of how Shakira has used her platform not only to entertain but to empower and inspire millions around the world. So hit that play button and join us for Shakira. Beyond the Music This is a story you won't want to miss. Early life in Barranquilla Shakira was born on February 2, 1977, in the vibrant city of Barranquilla, Colombia. She was the only child of William Mebarak Chadid, a Lebanese immigrant, and Nidia Rapal Torado, a Colombian of Spanish and Italian descent. Shakira's multicultural background deeply influenced her artistry, blending the rhythms of her Lebanese heritage with the sounds of Latin America. From a young age, Shakira had a fascination with music and poetry. She wrote her first poem at four years old and later recalled how her father's collection of Arabic records inspired her love of dance, particularly belly dancing. I learned to move my hips before I could walk, Shakira once joked. Music and creativity were her sanctuary, especially after witnessing her father's financial struggles. When his business failed, the family had to sell many belongings, and Shakira's outlook on life shifted. She said, I promised myself I'd help my parents one day, and I realized how important it is to give back. The early struggles and first record deal at just 10 years old, Shakira began performing in local talent competitions and writing her own songs. Despite her undeniable talent, her early attempts to break into the music industry were met with setbacks. At the age of 13, she signed her first record deal with Sony Music Colombia, leading to the release of her debut album Magia in 1990. The album featured a collection of songs she had written since she was eight, but it failed to gain commercial success. The early disappointment didn't deter her. Shakira's determination was unwavering. Her second album, Peligro, 1993, also struggled to make an impact, but her raw talent was becoming harder to ignore. Shakira decided to take control of her career and musical direction, and this marked a turning point. Breakthrough with Pies de Scalzo Shakira took a brief hiatus from the music scene to finish high school and focus on her artistic identity. When she returned, she had a clear vision of who she wanted to be. In 1995, she released Pies de Scalzos, the album that would catapult her to fame in Latin America. With hits like Estoy Aquí and Donde Estás Corazón, Shakira's blend of rock, pop, and traditional Latin sounds became her signature. Pies de Scalzo sold over 5 million copies, making her an overnight sensation. This success allowed Shakira to explore more of her cultural roots and to connect with fans who saw her as a voice of strength and resilience. In her own words, music became the language through which I could communicate my innermost feelings. Crossing over to global stardom in the late 1990s, Shakira began learning English, studying poetry and song lyrics to master the language. She wanted to expand her reach beyond Latin America, and in 2001, she released Laundry Service, her first English-language album. The album featured the smash hit Whenever Wherever, which instantly turned Shakira into a global phenomenon. Learning English wasn't easy, she said in an interview. 
but I was determined to write my own lyrics and express myself authentically. Laundry Service sold over 13 million copies worldwide, establishing Shakira as one of the most successful crossover artists of her generation. Personal life and challenges while Shakira's career soared, her personal life also became a subject of public interest. In 2010, she began dating Spanish footballer Gerard Pique after they met during the shooting of her Waka Waka video, the official anthem of the 2010 FIFA World Cup. The couple had two sons, Milan, born in 2013, and Sasha, born in 2015. Four years, Shakira and Peek were one of the most talked-about celebrity couples, known for their family-first values despite their busy careers. However, in 2022, Shakira and Peek announced their separation. Although this was a difficult time for the singer, she remained focused on her career and children. Life has taught me that we are resilient, and sometimes we find strength we never knew we had, Shakira said during this period. Musical evolution and social impact Shakira's musical evolution continued throughout her career. In 2005, she released the two-part album Fijacion Oral Slash Oral Fixation, which further solidified her global appeal. One of her biggest hits, Hips Don't Lie, from the English-language side of the album, became the best-selling single of the 21st century at the time, topping charts in over 55 countries. Beyond her music, Shakira is known for her philanthropic efforts. In 1997, she founded the Pies Descalzos Foundation, dedicated to providing education to impoverished children in Colombia. Education is a birthright, and I want every child to have the opportunity to learn, Shakira has said. Her work with the foundation and her role as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador have earned her widespread respect beyond the music industry. Legacy and Intelligence Shakira's legacy is not just about her music, but also her intelligence and versatility. She speaks multiple languages fluently, has studied ancient civilizations, and even took courses at the University of California, Los Angeles. Her intellectual curiosity is a reflection of her drive to continuously improve herself, both as an artist and as a person. When asked about her life lessons, Shakira said, Success is not about what you achieve but what you learn along the way. The journey is the reward. An unstoppable force as of today, Shakira's influence shows no signs of waning. With over 85 million records sold worldwide, countless awards, and an enduring connection with fans from all walks of life, she continues to inspire. Her ability to merge different cultures, genres, and languages has made her a true global ambassador for music. Shakira an artist, a mother, a philanthropist, and a woman who continues to conquer hearts and minds with her passion, intelligence, and resilience. Focus point one, Shakira's childhood and early life. Imagine a young girl in the bustling streets of Barranquilla, Colombia, her big, curious eyes absorbing the sounds, rhythms, and colors of her hometown. Born on February 2, 1977, Shakira Isabel Mebarak Rapal grew up in a multicultural household. Her father, William Mebarak Chadid, was a Lebanese immigrant, and her mother, Nydia Rapal Torado, was Colombian with Spanish and Italian roots. This blend of cultures became the foundation for Shakira's unique sound and identity, but her path was not without challenges. Shakira was not like other children. While most kids played outside, she immersed herself in poetry, music, and dance from a very young age. At just four years old, she wrote her first poem which later became a song. Her father, a writer and jeweler, was one of her earliest inspirations, teaching her the beauty of words and storytelling. Her mother nurtured her spirit, encouraging her artistic pursuits. Growing up in a household rich with diversity, Shakira was influenced by the Arabic music her father loved, which inspired her iconic belly dancing. Her father's Lebanese heritage played a crucial role in shaping her love for rhythm, movement, and tradition while her Colombian roots exposed her to a variety of Latin sounds. This unique cultural fusion would later become her signature in the global music scene. However, life wasn't always easy for Shakira. At a young age, she experienced the pain of financial hardship. Her father's business went bankrupt, forcing the family to sell their possessions. Shakira often visited an orphanage with her father to remind herself that, despite their struggles, others had it worse. This deeply affected her, fueling her desire to succeed and give back to those less fortunate. 
One defining moment in Shakira's childhood was when she auditioned for her school choir, eager to showcase her singing abilities. However, she was rejected because her voice was considered too strong and vibrated too much. This could have discouraged many but not Shakira. Determined, she continued practicing and developing her unique voice, later becoming one of the most distinctive vocalists in the world. In her own words, the choir director told me I sounded like a goat. I wasn't going to let that stop me. Another important influence was her father's love for the typewriter. At just seven years old, Shakira asked for one as a gift, and her father bought her a used one. This simple gesture ignited her passion for writing, and she began creating songs and poems that reflected her feelings, thoughts, and dreams. Writing became Shakira's outlet, a way to cope with her emotions and express her creativity. Shakira's early experiences align with several psychological theories of childhood development, particularly the importance of resilience and self-efficacy. According to psychologist Albert Bandura, self-efficacy, the belief in one's ability to succeed, is crucial for overcoming challenges and achieving personal goals. Shakira's determination to persevere after rejection by her school choir and her resilience in the face of her family's financial struggles illustrate a strong sense of self-efficacy that she carried into her adult life. From a sociological perspective, Shakira's multicultural upbringing played a vital role in her identity formation. The theory of cultural hybridity suggests that growing up within multiple cultural frameworks can create a more adaptable, innovative individual. Shakira's ability to blend Lebanese, Colombian, and global influences in her music is a clear example of cultural hybridity at work. Shakira once reflected on her childhood, saying, I remember feeling very grateful for the things I had, even when it wasn't much. My father taught me that there is always a way to give, even if you don't have much. This mindset of gratitude and perseverance became a driving force in her career and her philanthropic work. Her father, William, also provided insights into her early passion for music. Shakira was always in love with music. As a little girl, she would listen to Arabic music and try to imitate the dances. You could see from an early age that she had something special. Shakira's childhood was shaped by a combination of rich cultural influences, early rejection, and financial struggles, all of which molded her into the resilient and determined artist she became. Her Lebanese and Colombian heritage influenced her unique sound, while her father's encouragement of poetry and writing fueled her creative expression. Rejected by her school choir, she refused to give up on her dream, a testament to her perseverance from an early age. Her family's financial difficulties played a significant role in Shakira's determination to succeed. The experience of losing their possessions due to bankruptcy left a lasting impression on her, and she made a promise to herself to one day help her parents and others in need. This experience not only shaped her drive but also inspired her philanthropy, particularly her work with the Pies de Scalzos Foundation which she founded to provide education for underprivileged children in Colombia. Shakira's early rejection from the choir didn't stop her. Instead, it motivated her to perfect her voice and develop her distinctive vocal style, which later became one of the defining elements of her music career. This resilience and drive to improve in the face of adversity set the stage for her future success. Shakira's childhood experiences, her multicultural upbringing, early rejection and financial struggles were not just formative, they were foundational to her later success. Her unique blend of Latin, Arabic, and pop influences would go on to define her sound and set her apart from other artists. Her resilience and determination in the face of challenges helped her overcome obstacles and rise to global stardom, becoming a beacon of empowerment for fans worldwide. In summary, Shakira's early life was filled with challenges and cultural richness, all of which prepared her for the path ahead. Her perseverance, creativity, and unique background were instrumental in shaping her identity as one of the most successful and beloved artists of our time. Focus Point 2. Shakira's Musical Beginnings and Early Career Shakira's journey into the world of music started early, deeply influenced by her multicultural roots and a love for performance. Raised in Barranquilla, Colombia, Shakira's childhood was filled with the sounds of Arabic music from her father's Lebanese heritage and traditional Latin rhythms from her Colombian roots. By the age of 10, Shakira was writing her own songs and performing in local talent shows, 
captivating audiences with her dynamic voice and striking stage presence. Her combination of belly dancing and powerful vocals set her apart from other young artists, and by the time she was a teenager, her path to becoming a professional musician was taking shape. At just 13 years old, Shakira signed her first record deal with Sony Music Columbia, marking the beginning of her professional career. In 1991, she released her debut album Magia Magic, a collection of songs she had written since childhood. Although the album failed to achieve commercial success, it laid the groundwork for what was to come. Shakira's early career was marked by both potential and struggle. As a young artist, she had to navigate the music industry at a time when it was dominated by traditional male singers and artists conforming to more commercialized Latin pop sounds. Shakira's unique blend of Latin, Arabic and rock influences was considered unconventional, and her first two albums, Magia and Peligro Danger, were met with limited success. The music industry was slow to embrace her eclectic style, and she faced challenges in finding her voice within the confines of a male-dominated industry. Despite these early setbacks, Shakira's determination never wavered. She realized that in order to break through, she needed to take control of her career. After Peligro's release, Shakira took a step back from the industry to finish high school and reflect on her artistic direction. This period of self-discovery proved crucial to her evolution as an artist, and when she returned, she was more focused than ever. Shakira's breakthrough came in 1995 with the release of Pies de Scalzo's Bare Feet, an album that showcased her distinct fusion of rock, pop, and Latin influences. The single Estoy Aquí, I'm Here, became an instant hit in Latin America, marking her first taste of major success. The song's catchy melody and heartfelt lyrics, combined with her powerful voice, captivated listeners and established her as a rising star in the Latin music world. Shakira's performance at the Vina del Mar International Song Festival in Chile in 1993 also stands out as a defining moment in her early career. As a 16-year-old, she performed Eries, a song she had written, and earned third place in the competition. The exposure she gained from this festival helped her gain recognition, not just in Colombia but across Latin America. Shakira's early career can be understood through the lens of several theories about creativity and talent development. One key theory is deliberate practice, which posits that talent is not innate but developed through consistent and focused effort. Shakira's childhood was filled with relentless practice, writing songs, dancing, and performing, which helped her hone her skills from a young age. Her early struggles in the music industry can be seen as part of this process of growth, allowing her to refine her style and figure out what worked for her musically. Another relevant theory is creative resilience. Shakira's ability to overcome early setbacks and continue pushing forward despite initial failures highlights a trait that many successful artists share, the capacity to adapt, learn from criticism, and remain persistent in the face of adversity. In a competitive industry like music, Creative resilience is often the difference between those who fade away and those who rise to stardom. Sociocultural theory also provides insight into Shakira's development as an artist. Growing up in a culturally diverse household, Shakira was exposed to a rich blend of sounds and traditions, which influenced her music. Her ability to incorporate elements from different cultures and fuse them into something new speaks to her innovative mindset, which was ahead of its time in the Latin pop world. Reflecting on her early career, Shakira once said, I knew that I had something to offer, but it was just a matter of finding the right way to express it. This quote encapsulates her journey during those early years, an artist with undeniable talent, searching for her true voice in a challenging industry. Speaking of her breakthrough with Pies de Scalzos, Shakira remarked, I poured everything I had into that album. It was my way of saying, this is who I am, and hoping the world would listen. The success of this album would mark the beginning of her ascent into global superstardom. Shakira's early musical journey was one of resilience, passion, and self-discovery. Despite early struggles with her first two albums, she refused to give up on her dream. By taking control of her career and refining her style, she was able to break through with Pies de Scalzos, which catapulted her to fame in Latin America. Her fusion of Latin, Rock and Arabic sounds set her apart in an industry that was often resistant to innovation, and her relentless determination ensured that her voice would be heard. Shakira's early career is a powerful example of the importance of perseverance in the face of failure. 
Although her first two albums were commercial flops, they served as stepping stones for her future success. Shakira's ability to learn from these experiences and grow as an artist was key to her eventual breakthrough with Pies de Scalzos. Her early struggles also shaped her as a more self-aware and independent artist, capable of making bold creative decisions and taking risks with her music. Moreover, the cultural context of Shakira's early music is essential in understanding her later success. At a time when Latin pop was dominated by predictable rhythms and styles, Shakira's blend of genres helped her stand out. Her music resonated with a generation of Latin American listeners who were craving something different, something that reflected their own diverse identities. Shakira's early career directly connects to her later global success. Her willingness to experiment with different sounds and her determination to remain authentic in her music became hallmarks of her style. The lessons she learned from her early failures allowed her to approach the international market with confidence when she released her first English-language album, Laundry Service, in 2001. The global appeal of hits like Whenever, Wherever, and Hips Don't Lie can be traced back to the foundation she built during her early years as a young artist in Latin America. Shakira's early musical journey was marked by struggle, experimentation, and growth. Her unique sound, shaped by her cultural background and early experiences, set her on a path to becoming one of the most innovative and successful artists of her generation. Through resilience, creativity, and self-belief, Shakira overcame early setbacks to forge a career that would eventually take her to the pinnacle of the global music industry. Focus Point 3 Shakira's Global Success and Cultural Impact Shakira's rise to global stardom didn't happen overnight, but when it did, she became a phenomenon unlike any other. Her breakthrough came in 2001 with the release of Laundry Service, her first English language album. By then, she was already a superstar in Latin America, but this album propelled her into the international spotlight, solidifying her status as a global icon. Her unique fusion of Latin, rock and Arabic sounds resonated with audiences around the world, breaking cultural and linguistic barriers. The album's lead single, Whenever Wherever, became a massive hit, with its catchy melody, vibrant energy, and Shakira's signature belly dancing captivating fans across continents. From that point on, Shakira was not just a Colombian artist, she was a global sensation. Shakira's global success can be attributed to her ability to overcome both cultural and linguistic barriers. When she decided to cross over into the English-speaking market, she knew it would require more than just translating her songs. Shakira immersed herself in English, even studying the works of poets like Walt Whitman and Leonard Cohen to improve her lyricism. Her mastery of the language allowed her to create songs that resonated emotionally with English-speaking audiences, while still staying true to her Latin roots. Her blend of different genres, Latin, pop, rock, and Middle Eastern sounds, gave her a universal appeal. At a time when the world was becoming more interconnected, Shakira's music represented a fusion of cultures that appealed to a wide range of audiences. Her international tours, such as the tour of the Mongoose and Oral Fixation Tour, further solidified her global presence, attracting fans from various cultures and backgrounds. Shakira wasn't just performing. She was bringing people together through the shared experience of music and dance. One of Shakira's most culturally significant performances came in 2010, when she was chosen to perform Waka Waka, this time for Africa, as the official anthem of the FIFA World Cup in South Africa. This song not only became a worldwide hit, but also symbolized unity, bridging the gap between different cultures through the universal language of music. The performance during the World Cup's closing ceremony was seen by millions, further cementing Shakira's place as a global ambassador of music. Another notable example is the song Hips Don't Lie, featuring Wyclef Jean, which became a worldwide anthem in 2006. The song topped the charts in over 55 countries and became one of the best-selling singles of all time. Its infectious rhythm and iconic lyrics transcended linguistic barriers, making it a hit in regions from North America to Asia. Hips Don't Lie was more than a pop song. It was a celebration of diversity, combining Latin, hip-hop, and world music elements into one irresistible track. Shakira's global success can be analyzed through the lens of globalization and cultural exchange. Globalization theory explains how advancements in communication and technology have made the world more interconnected, 
allowing artists like Shakira to reach audiences far beyond their home countries. Shakira's music is an example of how cultural products, whether in the form of songs, dance, or visual imagery, can cross borders and bring together diverse audiences. Cultural exchange theory also applies here, as Shakira's music blends elements from various cultures, including her Latin and Arabic heritage, and incorporates them into a pop framework that appeals to global audiences. Her ability to draw from different musical traditions while making them accessible to a mainstream audience demonstrates how cultural exchange works in the modern world. Shakira's success also highlights the power of transnational identity, an artist who represents multiple cultures and can connect with people across the globe. The influence of music on society is another relevant theory. Shakira's songs have been used as anthems for social and cultural movements, from promoting unity during the World Cup to advocating for children's education through her philanthropic efforts. Her music serves not only as entertainment, but as a platform for bringing awareness to social issues. Reflecting on her global success, Shakira once said, Music has no boundaries. It transcends languages, cultures, and borders. I've always believed that, and I try to show that in my work. This philosophy is evident in her music, which brings together people from different parts of the world. In discussing her efforts to cross over into the English-speaking market, Shakira remarked, I didn't just want to translate my Spanish songs into English. I wanted to truly communicate, to connect with a new audience in a meaningful way. Her commitment to authenticity is one of the reasons why her music resonates so deeply with audiences around the world. Shakira's global success was not just about her talent, it was about her ability to bridge cultural divides through music. Her songs like Whenever, Wherever, and Hips Don't Lie transcended language and cultural barriers, resonating with audiences from all walks of life. Her performances, particularly during international events like the FIFA World Cup, further showcased her role as a cultural ambassador, using music as a tool to unite people. Shakira's ability to seamlessly integrate Latin and global influences into her work made her a truly international artist. Shakira's global success is a testament to her versatility and determination. Her willingness to embrace different cultures and languages while staying true to her roots allowed her to connect with audiences on a profound level. From her early days as a Latin artist to her international breakthrough with laundry service, Shakira consistently pushed the boundaries of what was possible for a female artist from Latin America in the global music industry. Her impact extends beyond music. As a philanthropist, Shakira founded the Pais de Scalzos Foundation to support education for underprivileged children in Colombia, and she has been a UNICEF Goodwill ambassador for many years. This commitment to social causes shows that her influence is not just cultural but also humanitarian. Shakira's global success has had a lasting cultural impact, opening doors for other Latin artists to achieve international fame. Artists like J Balvin, Maluma, and Rosalia have followed in her footsteps, benefiting from the groundwork she laid in the early 2000s. Shakira's ability to transcend genres and languages has redefined what it means to be a global artist. She is not just a pop star. She is a symbol of cultural fusion and global unity, using her platform to promote causes she believes in. Shakira's global success is a story of perseverance, creativity, and cultural exchange. Her ability to transcend linguistic and cultural boundaries has made her a trailblazer in the music industry, and her influence continues to inspire both artists and fans worldwide. Through her music, performances, and philanthropy, Shakira has proven that she is more than just a global pop star. She is a cultural ambassador whose legacy will endure for generations. Focus point four, Shakira's personal challenges and triumphs. Despite Shakira's global fame and success, her journey has not been without significant personal challenges. Behind the glitz and glamour of her career, she has faced numerous obstacles, including health issues, relationship difficulties, and public scrutiny. One of her most well-known challenges came in 2017, when she was diagnosed with a vocal cord hemorrhage, threatening not only her career but her lifelong passion for singing. In addition, her personal life came under the spotlight when her long-term relationship with Spanish football star Gerard Pique ended after 12 years, leading to intense media scrutiny. Yet through it all, Shakira has demonstrated remarkable resilience, emerging stronger and more focused on both her career and her family. Shakira's vocal cord injury was one of the most difficult moments of her career. 
For a singer, losing the ability to use their voice is devastating, and in Shakira's case, it forced her to cancel her El Dorado World Tour in 2017. During this time, she admitted feeling uncertain about her future, fearing that she might never sing again. This physical challenge took an emotional toll on her, as her identity and career were so deeply connected to her voice. However, instead of opting for surgery, which carried risks, Shakira chose a path of natural healing, relying on rest, therapy, and holistic treatments. After months of recovery, she returned to the stage in 2018, stronger than ever. In her personal life, Shakira faced another public challenge when her relationship with Gerard Peake ended in 2022. Having shared two children, Milan and Sasha, their breakup was widely covered in the media, making it difficult for Shakira to maintain privacy. Despite the heartbreak, she remained focused on her role as a mother and continued to move forward with her music. The experience deeply influenced her 2022 release Monotonia, a song that reflected on the pain of broken relationships and the complexity of human emotions. Shakira's vocal injury is a clear example of her resilience. Faced with the possibility of losing her voice, she refused to give up. In interviews following her recovery, she shared how the experience made her appreciate her career even more, saying, There's a moment in life when you're so down you think everything you've built could disappear, and when you come back from that, you feel like you've been reborn. This comeback not only showcased her determination, but also reaffirmed her passion for music and performing. Her relationship with Peak also showed her strength in the face of personal adversity. As a public figure, Shakira has always valued her privacy, but her breakup played out in the media in real time. Despite this, she remained focused on her children and career, even releasing music that reflected her emotional journey. Songs like Monotonia and Te Felicito gave fans insight into her personal struggles, while also providing a form of emotional release for the singer herself. Shakira's ability to overcome challenges can be explained through the theory of resilience, which refers to the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. Resilience isn't just about bouncing back. It's about using adversity as an opportunity for growth. Shakira's vocal injury could have ended her career, but instead, it became a turning point. Her decision to heal naturally, rather than undergo surgery, demonstrated her patience and confidence in her body's ability to recover. This resilience is what allowed her to come back even stronger, and it's a trait often seen in successful individuals who face major setbacks. Adversity theory also applies here, which suggests that difficult life events can lead to personal growth, often referred to as post-traumatic growth. Shakira's challenges from her vocal injury to her public breakup forced her to reflect on her life, priorities, and emotional well-being. These experiences not only made her more resilient, but also deepened her emotional connection with her music, allowing her to create songs that resonated on a deeply personal level with her audience. Cognitive Behavioral Theory, CBT, also helps explain how Shakira navigated her personal difficulties. By focusing on the positive aspects of her recovery and maintaining a growth-oriented mindset, Shakira was able to cope with her challenges effectively. CBT teaches individuals to reframe negative experiences and focus on what can be learned from adversity, which Shakira exemplified during her recovery from vocal injury and the emotional aftermath of her breakup. Speaking about her vocal injury, Shakira once said, When you're faced with the idea of losing what you love most, you fight with all you've got. This quote underscores her determination and fierce passion for music. She didn't let fear or uncertainty stop her, and her eventual recovery became a testament to her strength. In reflecting on her breakup, Shakira told fans in an interview, We all go through pain and heartbreak, but it's what we do with it that defines who we are. Music is my therapy, and sharing my experiences helps me heal. This insight not only reveals her vulnerability, but also highlights how she channels her personal challenges into her art. Shakira's personal challenges are a key part of her story, showing that even in the face of adversity, she never gave up on her dreams. From her vocal injury that threatened her career to her public breakup, she encountered obstacles that could have derailed her professionally and emotionally. However, her ability to stay focused, lean on her inner strength, and use her music as an outlet allowed her to triumph over these difficulties. Shakira's experiences with personal adversity have shaped her as both an artist and a person.
Her vocal injury gave her a deeper appreciation for her voice and for her career, while her breakup brought a new level of emotional honesty to her music. Through these challenges, Shakira learned to prioritize her well-being and her family, and she emerged from them with a renewed sense of purpose. The lessons she learned about resilience, self-care, and the importance of emotional expression are evident in her music, making her more relatable to her fans. Her ability to use her personal challenges as fuel for her creativity is what sets her apart as an artist. Rather than shy away from difficult experiences, she embraces them, using her platform to connect with listeners who are going through their own struggles. Shakira's openness about her journey has made her not only a global pop star, but also a symbol of strength and perseverance. Shakira's personal challenges and triumphs are deeply connected to her music and career. Her vocal injury, for example, didn't just impact her ability to perform, it influenced the themes of vulnerability and gratitude that now permeate her work. Similarly, her public breakup brought a new level of raw emotion to her music, resonating with fans who have experienced similar heartbreaks. These challenges have shaped her as an artist, making her music more relatable and authentic. Shakira's personal challenges have played a crucial role in her evolution as an artist and a person. Through resilience, determination, and a deep connection to her music, she has not only overcome adversity, but has used it to fuel her creativity. Her personal triumphs are a testament to her strength, and they serve as an inspiration to fans around the world who see in her a reflection of their own struggles and successes. Key facts about Shakira. Born February 2, 1977, Barranquilla, Colombia. Nationality, Colombian. Languages. Shakira speaks several languages, including Spanish, English, Portuguese, and some Italian. Philanthropy. Founder of the Pais Descalzos Foundation, which supports education for children. Famous songs, Hips Don't Lie, Waka Waka, Whenever, Wherever. Major awards. Shakira has won three Grammy Awards, 12 Latin Grammy Awards, and numerous others. Beyond her music, Shakira is deeply involved in philanthropy, particularly through her Pais Descalzos Foundation, which focuses on education for underprivileged children in Colombia. She is also known for her humanitarian work globally and has been a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador since 2003. When did Shakira learn English? Shakira learned English in the late 1990s, around the time she was working on her crossover album Laundry Service. She is said to have studied intensively, using poetry and song lyrics to help her master the language. Shakira's husband. Shakira has never been married. However, she was in a long-term relationship with Spanish footballer Gerard Pique from 2011 to 2022. Shakira's life lesson. Shakira has often emphasized the importance of perseverance, self-confidence, and remaining grounded. Her journey from a small town in Colombia to global superstardom is a testament to hard work and following one's passion. What is Shakira most famous for? Shakira is most famous for her unique blend of Latin pop, rock, and world music, her powerful vocals, and her iconic belly dancing. Songs like Hips Don't Lie and Waka Waka have made her a global sensation. How intelligent is Shakira? Shakira is widely recognized for her intelligence and versatility. Besides her music, she has a sharp business acumen, speaks several languages fluently, and is deeply involved in her philanthropy. Shakira is famous for her music career, particularly her crossover into the English language market, as well as her distinctive voice, dance style, and international hits. Shakira's net worth. As of 2023, Shakira's net worth is estimated to be around $300 million, derived from her music, tours, endorsements, and business ventures. In this audiobook, we've delved deep into the incredible journey of Shakira, from her humble beginnings in Barranquilla, Colombia, to her rise as a global icon. We explored her childhood influences, her early passion for music, and the challenges she faced as a young artist. We've also highlighted her international success, the barriers she overcame, and her role as a cultural ambassador. Finally, we touched on the personal challenges Shakira faced, her vocal injury, relationship struggles, and how she emerged stronger than ever, both as a musician and a person. If you want to discover more about Shakira's life and the fascinating stories behind her music, be sure to listen to the full audiobook. You'll gain insight into her creative process, her global impact, 
and how she used her passion and determination to overcome adversity and shape the world of music. Whether you're a fan of Shakira or someone who loves inspiring stories, this audiobook is for you. Shakira's journey teaches us valuable life lessons about resilience, determination, and the power of music to bring people together. Her story is a testament to how hard work and a strong sense of self can help you rise above challenges, no matter where you come from. She reminds us that with passion and perseverance, we can all achieve greatness. Thank you for watching and for your continued support of Media Deem. If you enjoyed this introduction, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest releases. Remember, listening to stories like Shakira's not only inspires but also improves your English language skills. So keep listening, keep learning, and keep growing with Media Deem. See you in the next video.